Hello everyone and welcome to my video. In this video I will show you how you make a simple hangman game like this in Android Kotlin. As you see there is a word here and there are as many spaces as the letters of the word. If you find the word before the man is hanged we win the game. If we can't find the word in 10 attempts the man is hanged and we lose the game. And there are some buttons for each letter and each time when we click a letter the letter will disappear because uh, we will learn if the letter is in the word or not. So each button has only one chance to click. Uh, I will show you uh, how the game works right now. Okay, uh, there is a uh, word which has four letters in this uh, example, and I will try A. Okay, as you see, A is disappeared and our Hangman uh, started to driving, and I will go with A E. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry for my pronouns. Uh, the E is the last uh, letter of the word. I will go with I this time. It's, it's the second letter. We are going good. Let's go with uh, maybe rice. Oh, it's not. Uh, there is a four letter. Uh, I will go. I will go go with. Uh, I don't know exactly. Maybe M. It is. It is not. Uh, S. Oh, okay. Uh, it's the first uh, letter of the word. Maybe so. Maybe it's size. Yeah, it's size. As you see, the game is over. We won the game. It says the congratulations. You won the game. And there are two uh, uh, there are two buttons for exit and play again. If you press the play again, game will restart, uh, restart like this. And I will try uh, random uh, guesses this time. Uh, and let's see what happens. It's milk, I think. Oh, I. Pressed so fast, so you couldn't see probably. But I also pressed the exit, <laughs> but at the same time, so we exit from the app. So let's get started coding this game. Firstly, I want to add our resources about the hangman. So inside our inside my uh, hangman folder, there's a hangman PNG, and there are eleven hangman images that I crop from these images. So I will. Copy this element, uh, hang my image, and inside the resources file uh, folder, uh, inside the drawable uh, folder, I will paste in here. Okay, so now our hangman uh, image is on here. So the second thing I want to add our layout. Our layout is ready on here to use uh, so I will just add it to here uh, I will copy and paste uh, why I do the copy and paste because the layout includes many buttons for each letter uh, it's uh, it takes too much time to uh, write this each and I will simply and quickly uh, explain what happens here image view will shows our hangman situation here text view uh, will show our letter with underscores and our buttons has their own id it's for example a button has a id b button has b id it's just simple like this and if you want to reach uh, this layout you can uh, check my uh, description uh, i mean you can check the uh, description of the video and you can reach this project uh, in my github link and you can get this code from there okay uh, the next thing we want to do adding view binding to our project so go to gradle app and inside here i want to add view binding enabled to and synchronize it Okay, now we can use the way binding in our project. 
So before to start the coding, I want to add our dictionary, uh, the dictionary that holds our random words actually. So I want to add new coding class file object uh, the words. Inside the verse object, I want to add our dictionary. I get this from the from a website I can't remember right now. Uh, just a simple English vocabulary. Uh, there are 320 uh, words in this dictionary. Uh, and I paste here. We will get the words from uh, here uh, randomly. Okay, we can close this tab. Uh, for now and we can start recording. Firstly, I want to define our uh, binding object binding private lady network binding uh, activity name binding and we need to initialize it also binding equals activity name binding that inflates a layout inflator and after that we can use it here uh, binding that roots. So we handle our binding uh, stuffs on here. So now we can define the uh, game variables. So game variables uh, will be declared on uh, the top level of the class. Uh, for example, we will start with private uh, war false counts equals zero. The false count will hold our false count actually. I mean uh, this variable will hold uh, how many times we uh, guess wrong choices. For example uh, A is not in the board and we press A the false count will increase until 10. If the false count is 10 we've lost the game and if we find the world uh, before the false count uh, reach the 10 uh, then uh, we won't we win the game okay uh, the second variable is we can just say private game over game over flag equals true uh, okay uh, that was uh, uh, just private war, sorry. Uh, yeah, private war, uh, game over flag true. The game over flag actually will hold the uh, game over result. Uh, if we win the game, the game over flag will stay as a true. And if we uh, can find the world bef uh, in 10 attempts, the game over flag will be false and the game over result uh, will be you lost you lost the game okay it's simple like this and uh, our next uh, variable is private laid in its word word as a string uh, this word uh, this word uh, is actually the word that we are trying to find we will get this word from the our words object from our dictionary. It will uh, it will be chosen randomly. I hope you understand what I mean. And the second uh, uh, another uh, variable is target word. What I mean with target word? Target word uh, uh, actually gets the content of the text view. Uh, in activity main. What I mean, the target word actually will get the uh, content of here. In this uh, text view, as you see, it's uh, the full content is underscore, space, underscore, space, underscore, and like this. Why we get this target word var variable? Because uh, this will be updated if it is uh, any, any letter uh, in the word. For example, when we press A and it, the A is the first letter of the world. Uh, A will display on the uh, first letter instead of this underscore here. So our uh, UI should be updated. So I'm whole, uh, I'm defining this target 
weren't uh, variable for that. Okay. So the next thing is laden for indexes. Uh, indexes uh, will be a table list of int actually. Uh, why we define this? Indexes will hold where the letter in the world actually, uh, or where the letters in the world. Uh, for example, um, we have a word and the A letter is two times in the word. For example, the second and uh, the fourth letter is A. And we need to hold their indexes to display on the screen. So it's needed. And then lastly, I want to define a private uh, war random num. Uh, random number uh, equals zero. And random number will be initialized in the uh, concrete uh, on a function in a function. Uh, we will just uh, give it a value between 0 and uh, 220 for getting random number from our words dictionary. I hope you uh, understand these variables means. Uh, so let's get start to define our start game function. Start game function is not uh, defined so we are creating a start game function. Why we are creating start game function? Because our game has a loop. The loop is actually uh, like this. Because, uh, I mean, loop is uh, when, when the game is end, in, and if we press the try again button, the game will restart. So we need a loop. And the start game actually will initialize our uh, these variables and they uh, also reset their values. I hope you, uh, you understand what I mean. So in here what we do uh, we will define I mean we will uh, bind the vo uh, variables false count uh, zero binding dot hangman dot set image resource zero. Uh, why I uh, write this? Because each time when we want to play a, uh, our hangman game, the hangman uh, image resource should be zero. Because when the game is start, uh, we shouldn't see any hangman image on the screen. It should be no resource at the beginning. I hope you understand. And our random number across random dot next int between 0 and two, uh, sorry 0 and 220 and after that we can uh, bind our word word equals word that dictionary uh, random number so we will get a random word to our word variable and also uh, our target world uh, okay it's early for that uh, we need uh, another function here as a uh, create blanks okay uh, create blanks just create and uh, create this function why we are doing this we want to uh, reset reset our text view. I mean, also uh, we want to display our words letter on the screen. So we need uh, underscores uh, for the size of word. So we need also some parameters, which is word dot length and the binding for binding our to binding our layout for uh, create lengths we need size as an integer and binding as an activity name binding okay and after that we can say binding uh, world 
text equals underscore and space and repeat this size times because uh, our word length is size so our word includes size times letter so we need to repeat it size times i hope you understand what i mean here okay uh so now what can we do we can uh we can go under uh, the start game and we can define the set on clickness nerve for our uh, letter buttons. For that, uh, you can simply create a button on set, uh, set on clickness nerve for each button, but there are 26 buttons, so I don't want to uh, show you, I mean, I, I don't want to add each click buttons. Uh, so I want to make them in a for loop like this for letter in HR to uh, Z yeah and this will go uh, 26 times uh, I mean this loop will uh, work 26 times and letter will be this charts each time when the loop is working. I hope you understand what I mean. So we can define our button IDs and buttons and we can uh, only declare a one click listener for each button. Like this button ID equals resources dot get identifier uh, letter to string uh as an id and the package name and after that we can uh, we can define our buttons with uh these ids so find view by id uh view here and the button id so for each button i need to add this import okay for each button, we can uh, define a set on click listener right now. Set on click listener. And uh, we will uh, define another uh, function here as a find index. So I will create a find, find index. Or maybe. Uh, find indexes is better because it, there are more than one. I would spawn. Yeah. Uh, our fun, uh, I, I mean, our uh, find indexes will take three parameters, which will be binding as an activity, main binding, our word, and our letter as a, uh, sorry, the word should be string. And the letter as a uh, uh, chart. Yeah. And it will return us the mutable list of integers. So, what we will do uh, on here, uh, when the any button is pressed, uh, we will send the letter of the button to find indexes. If the letter is in the word or not, we will find this firstly. If it is in the word, we will uh, add the indexes to our uh, indexes mutable list and we will return our indexes mutable list. Basically, like this, that's why we are uh, returning a mutable list as an entity. So, I want to create a indexes value here as a mutable list of integer so uh, I want to uh, map index uh, map index our word with uh, index and char okay so we can do a control here as a if char across the letter then uh, indexes that 
uh, at index. Okay. Uh, why it is like this? Okay, <laughs> that's better. Uh, so uh, if the letter, uh, I mean, we are doing a for loop actually here. Uh, each time uh, the char refers our each letter of the word. So and our letter, the uh, our letter refers our uh, buttons letter. So when we click, for example, A, and the letter will be A, and it is looking for if the A uh, inside of the words. I mean that uh, it will compare it will compare uh, A letter to each char of the word. If it is in, so it will add its index to our indexes for table list. Okay, so. Uh, uh, here is doing our uh, the control, and uh, we can also uh, do the game over control here like this. If indexes, uh, actually indexes that size equals zero. I mean, if uh, the letter is not in the verb. And also another if, if false count equals 10, the game over flag will be false because we lost the game here and show, um, show game over dialog, we will define it later, okay, with a game over flag. We will make it comment for a while until we define the show game over uh, dialog function. So uh, this will check if the game is over and what we do here uh, if the size uh, equals zero that means the letter is not in the word so we need to increase our false count because we did a wrong choice and we need to um, update our image with a binding and false count. Uh, we haven't any uh, update image function, so I want to create it. Create function as an update image. It will uh, take two parameters, binding for updating our image width and the false count for uh, uh, defining our which hangman uh, image. I hope you understand. So uh, in the update image, we need to define an uh, image name while image name equals uh, hangman. It's important to write correctly like this hangman underscore uh, dollar uh, false counts. Why it is like this? Because we have hangman underscore one. Hangman underscore two. Each time the false count is increased, uh, when the false count increase, uh, our image name will be updated and we will display on the screen. Okay. And so now, what can we do? Well, image our uh, image resource ID equals resources that get identified uh, with image name uh, from uh variable i hope i write it correctly uh, and the package name and after that binding that hangman set image resource uh our image resource i okay so after that uh, i mean after we, we, I mean, <laughs> when we can't find any uh, letter uh, in the verb, we will update our uh, image. So, and after that, we need to return our indexes, of course. Return indexes. Okay. 
So now uh, we can we can basically say indexes equals find indexes with binding uh, binding word and letter. Okay, that was important. So after that, uh, we did uh, if the letter in the word, uh, but we didn't define uh, if the word uh, uh, is in the word, I mean the letter is in the word and when we want to display on the screen. So we need to define this uh, situation also. So we need to define another function which name will be uh, display letters. Uh, example also be we need to add private or oh, private fun. Okay, so uh, private fun display letters will take uh, three parameter indexes uh, as a notable uh, list of ints and. Uh, Tar our target words as a string and lastly our letter as a char and it will return us a string okay uh, now in the display letters we want to display our letters uh, on the word uh, if it is in the word I mean for example a a letter is the first character of the uh, verb. We should uh, display a letter uh, on the first uh, char character. So for that, we need to uh, define uh, while string builder as a string builder. Uh, will be string builder with our uh, target part. Okay, and after that, uh, we can say if indexes that size bigger than zero, then indexes uh, that map just only map and uh, string builder dot set char at uh, index. Uh, actually, what I want to do uh, indexes time to uh, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, in, not indexes. We need to uh, add here index. The uh, index will hold our the index of the uh, letter so we will say uh, index times two and with the letter uh, upper case chart so what we are doing here um, we will mapping our indexes uh, if the index is size bigger than zero and uh, replace the letter with the underscore. Uh, I mean, replace the uh, underscore index with our letter, with uppercase, of course. Uh, why I do the index times two here? Because, for example, our word is low, and low has actually four blank, and the uh, E letter uh, is the last letter, which is 0, 1, 2, 3. The index of E actually 3. But when we say uh, only index, our uh, code will display E, uh, e on here. 0, 1, 2, 3. The E will appear on here. And we don't want this. Um, we want a, a on here instead of this underscore. So what we do, we multiply our index with two. So 
we can pass the spaces like this. The Lowe's index is 3, so if we multiply with 2, it will be 6. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So A will be on here. I hope you understand. Uh, so after that, we need to uh, display that binding that word uh, text will be string folder to string. Okay. So uh, after after the if uh, we can control if the game is over. Also, we can say if not string folder. Uh, contains underscore then that means there is no letter to find anyways uh, we can set our game over flag as a true and actually we don't need to set as a true because it's true by default but you can simply uh, write this code also and also uh, say show uh, alert dialog with game over flag. Okay, we will make here with a comment. We will uh, define this uh, function later. Okay, and after that, we need to return uh, return string folder. To string. So now uh, we can use this display letters and we need to update our target word. It calls display letters with indexes, target word, and letter. Okay, so after click each button, we need to make them uh, make their visibility gone. So for that, button that visibility with that gun okay so uh, each time when we press uh, to button uh, our buttons will gun so after try again button we need to make them visible again so for that we need to create another function uh, we can create on here uh, call back buttons. Okay, so call back buttons uh, will make them actually visible. So for that, uh, we will create the callback functions. Uh, with the callback functions, uh, callback uh, button functions, uh, we want to. Uh, We want to do same thing like this. In I mean this uh, for loop. It's actually same thing. Uh, we will get the buttons uh, buttons ID, and we will uh, just make them visible. The button visibility will visible. Okay, so each button will be visible uh, visible after this callback button. So, uh, what we need else? Uh, also, uh, we, we need to add target word here binding that word text to string uh, our. I mean, we are creating blanks on here. I mean, uh, we get how many uh, letter in the word, but we need to uh, we need to bind our uh, string to our target word. For example, if the word has uh, four letter, so we will make the target word with four underscore. Okay, that was important. And lastly, uh, we need to define this show alert dialog function. Uh, show alert dialog function is uh, our 
uh, game over dialog actually. So we have a game over flag here and we need to define a builder as a ball builder as a uh, alert dialog uh, to this uh, sorry alert dialog that builder okay and we need to make the builder set cancelable cancelable false why we do this because when the alert dialog appear on the screen uh, we shouldn't uh, skip the alert dialog we should choose the two option play in or x only these two option we can't we, we don't want uh, the cancelable uh, alert dialog action so we can define if game over flag is true that that means uh, we want the game builder that set title uh, you can say you won and after that builder set message uh, just say uh, congrats you won the game and after that uh, we can uh, set a two option which is builder set uh, positive button uh, it says play uh, again and dialog which uh, okay and start game we will uh, reset our game with start game you know it uh, initialize each variable uh, again so we will take the same thing uh, for negative button uh, it will exit and this time we will just make system that uh, exits and zero and this was for uh, the winning game uh, situation and we need to add uh, by the way we forget a uh, scope here Okay, that's fine. Uh, and after that, we need to add as button. As for uh, we lost the game, so we can simply copy here. Uh, we can say game over. Uh, uh, you lost the game. Uh, you lost the game, and the world was actually uh, work the, with uh, upper case okay and here we are showing uh, what was the word actually because the player couldn't fi find uh, in 10 attempts so we are showing what was the word uh, on alert dialog that's why the player can learn what was the word actually so the other things will be same and after that we need to make builder that show okay uh, i think we are done with our code and our game is ready to play right now i guess if we don't forget anything i hope we don't forget uh, so we can just run our code So it may some time uh, to run for first time. Uh, just waiting for uh, the app is initialized. Okay, here we are. We have uh, three, six, seven, uh, seven letter word here. I will go with A, E, I, O, 
I will go fastly this time. Um, what is this? I don't know exactly. It's maybe feeling. Yeah, feeling. Congrats, uh, congrats, you won the game, and you can say just play again. When you play again, everything uh, will be reset. And I will do a random guess this time. Or we forget something here, I guess. <laughs> it's religion, but we forget about uh, the game is over, actually, uh, because... <laughs> We forget to make uh, this show game or show alert dialog actually. We can change the name of this function. Okay, now when we uh, when we lose the game, uh, it will be okay. So this time uh, our man will be hanged and the game over we lost the game the word was fiction okay we can exit as you see uh, the code works correctly and uh, you can get the code, full code from my github account uh, i will give it in the description thanks for watching to watch until here uh, if you are uh, if you didn't subscribe yet uh, you should subscribe and if you like the video just don't forget to like the video and have a good day and goodbye. Bye-bye.